bail reform is a divisive topic. We want to help you understand what's happening on our streets. So I've analyzed data that gives us a better sense of just how many people have been released from custody and then rearrested for another crime. Take a look at this. According to New York State, there were a little less than 13,000 criminal arraignments in Erie County between January 1st, 2020 and June 1st, 2021. Those are the dates that were made available to us by the state. Of those, 1,500 were rearrested. That's about 12%. And of those rearrests, 777 were felonies. 98 involved a firearm. The New York City Comptroller found that both before and after bail reform, fewer than 1% of people released pretrial were rearrested on a violent felony charge. But as District Attorney John Flynn explained on 7 News Second Cup this morning, even data has its blind spots. When, when, when you have 75% of the homicides unsolved and you have probably 80% of the, of, of the non-fatal shootings unsolved, okay, you have no idea who's doing the shootings. So that person could be out on bail, all right? right. You, know, you just don't know. As Yesterday, Assembly Majority Leader Crystal Peoples-Stokes published an open letter. In it, she said... She said cities in notoriously tough on crime states like Texas and Florida saw a more significant increase in violent crime than cities in New York State. These states still use cash bail for low level offenses. While we must take any uptick in crime seriously, we will not solve the problem if we don't understand the real cause. She then went on to propose investments in rehab and reentry programs. Meantime, Governor Hochul has heard these concerns and is proposing a new plan to revamp bail reform. Hochul's plan includes reinstating bail for those who commit gun crimes.